did. And they were 15 to 20. I think they were kind of like 11 to 13 at one of the medias in the first half. And, uh, you know, Gardner in the first half and then Cole and Boyd in the second half. And that was, I thought, kind of the story. We really, we wanted to cheat hard on Gardner and we, we did a decent job, but she just, she finished some tough shots. And then second half, really, the, the big thing was we just, we didn't get back and then Cole kind of made a lot of plays there. And, and then we lost touch and um, then we had to fight from behind and press a little bit more. And then you know, we're, that makes it tough for us to, to stay in front of them. But I thought our kids fought. I was I was pleased with our our effort and, and what we tried to do to get ourselves to keep ourselves in the game and get ourselves back in the game. It was a you know huge improvement from our first road game and uh, you know with, with short rest and, and short time to prepare. I felt like we we gave ourselves a chance, but Kansas uh, played really well and deserved to win. Questions for the student athletes. <clears throat> uh, is getting off to a hot start like that. You know, what does that do for you guys like, mentally as far as how your execution has to be coming off the game yesterday? I think coming off the game yesterday, we with Minnesota, we knew that we had to limit their runs because once they get on a run, they get Bantam involved and other players involved, and then they just start getting the momentum. And when KU went on the run today, we knew that we needed to stop them, otherwise we're going to get shot out of this. And we fought back, and we limited their runs for the most part, but we didn't make our own runs back at them. You scored 15 in the first half, and you were really uh, doing a good job of, you know, getting to the hole, or getting to the rack. And um, But in the second half, you only scored once from the field. Was that something that KU okay, did differently defensively, or what, what, what happened there? I think their communication on screens was a lot better than in the first half. But in the second half, we were trying to uh, move around more and get open looks for Sarah because they were in the lane when they were against Sarah and um, they were guarding, they were also guarding her with small a lot of the time. So we were trying to get uh, production from a lot of places and they just communicated a lot better in the second half and they got up and defended more. You could tell they had more energy. Sarah and Marissa, when Campy and Bree got in the trouble, kind of forced you guys to go small and that actually was a successful unit for you guys, kind of got you back in the game. Can you talk about what you guys were able to do with that four guard? <coughs> Um, I think it's kind of something that we did at the end of last year, the four guard lineup, and um, I think it's something that we're used to, and we kind of like going small almost because it gives us that advantage on the outside. When you get some someone that's bigger than you, it, you have to drag them out and force them to guard you on the outside and things like that. And I think we like those matchups, especially because we're a three point shooting team. And I thought that we got a lot of good looks too, and we just had shots that didn't fall either. So. And dribble penetration was obviously an issue most of the day. Um, you just talked about how Kansas were relentless on that. Do you think it was something they wanted to emphasize coming in, knowing you guys probably um, you know, didn't have 100% from your legs? Watching Cole, she did a really good job pushing the ball up the floor and getting so deep down into the lane and then um, just kicking the ball out to open shooters because we had to help. She did a really good job of um, hitting her bigs on the blocks for easy shots. and We just miscommunicated on that, and we didn't. We didn't really hustle back. I don't know if it was um, fatigue in our legs or just communication on our part, but she, she killed us on that, and she did a really good job.